Welcome to Inside Putt Podcast, presented by the Putnam County Chamber of Commerce. And now your host, Ashley Offered Glantz. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Inside Putnam Podcast. This is Ashley, the president of the Putnam Chamber of Commerce, your host today, and we are thrilled to have our chamber member and guest with us, Alexandra Post from Grits Farm. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm well. Thanks for having me. Excited to have you on your uh, podcast premiere. Oh, wow. The pressure. (laughs) You're going to do great. Thank you. We're excited to have you guys here. We love having uh, Grits Farm in Putnam County and a part of our chamber. And you guys are just really doing an amazing job in the agro-tourism scene. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. But before we do, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Sure. Thank you. So my name is Alexandra Post, and I am from Charleston, West Virginia. Grew up in the area um, to an Italian family. My grandfather came here from Sicily in the 1960s, and he started a pizza franchise called Graziano's Pizza that still exists today. Mm -hmm. So um, spent a lot of time growing up with him, playing sports, and then I graduated from Marshall University, got my bachelor's degree in business marketing, and got really into events there and spent Mm -hmm. a lot of time on campus planning student events and um, operating social media pages. Mm -hmm. I um, got an internship with Victoria's Secret Pink, the clothing brand, Mm -hmm. while I was there, and um, that kind of changed the trajectory of where I thought I would go career wise. So it, it really helped me fall in love with, um, retail and experiential marketing. So, um, I ended up graduating from Marshall and getting a full-time job doing the uh, marketing and events for a shopping center locally Mm -hmm. and loved it. It was so much fun. And, um, then the pandemic hit and unfortunately some things changed about it and, Mm -hmm. um, was just kind of ready to pursue something new. And that's when I stumbled upon the Grits Farm, um, marketing manager opening a couple years ago. So I've been with them for a little over two years now. Um, and it's such a fun place to work and place to be. Oh, totally. It's the best place to be. So fun. All, all times of year, too. So, you know, um, why don't you tell them a little bit about, if people aren't familiar with Grits Farm, tell them a little bit about you guys and, and what you all do up there on up in Buffalo. <laughs> sure. Uh, so Grits Farm, it was established in 1927 in Buffalo mm-hmm. here in Putnam County. And for right now, it's a three season mm-hmm. plant produce and agritourism farm. Um, but we do have some Christmas trees that are planted. Oh, and I'm so excited for the trees. Yes. So eventually we will go to that fourth season of Christmas mm-hmm. time, the you cut trees, Christmas events and all of that. But for right now, our main events are in the spring through the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, So we just had a planting workshop that we did last Saturday. We're getting ready to kick off our farm to table dinner season where we do one a month Mm -hmm. from April to August. And then, of course, in the fall, we do a six week fall festival where we have over 30 attractions for families to enjoy. Yeah, it is our number one tourist attraction here in Putnam County, the fall farm um, and brings in thousands and thousands of people in just a short amount of time. So that's kind of what we wanted to talk a little bit with you about today. So in the Inside Putnam podcast, you know, we love to meet with our chamber members and let people know how great um, our community has is here in Putnam County. Um, but we also like to make sure that you guys, the listeners, leave with some type of, you know, tangible, uh, I don't even know, like an Something you learn something, basically. You learn something that you can take away with you um, and apply to your business. So we're going to talk a little bit about the growth of the Fun Farm and um, how you guys have grown it and used marketing tools to make it what it is now, which is seeing over 30,000 guests in just a month and a half. So um, if you could, what whenever you first started as a marketing manager, what was the first thing that you wanted to do um, to kind of grow the Fun Farm? Well, I really wanted to take the opportunity to kind of see where Grits Farm was and their Mm -hmm. operation because I had never attended Fun Farm Mm -hmm. before as a guest. In fact, I had only been to Grits Farm one time before ever working there. So Mm -hmm. it was very much a learning year that first year of um, collaborating with the team to Mm -hmm. see how they've run as a family their operation and how they were able to build that into what it is. And Mm -hmm. um, once I got that first year under my belt of learning, um, I was really wanting to take it and make it 
as um, efficient as possible and or a little bit more organized mm-hmm. every year and um, using our, our social media tools, of course, but also our, our community partners. Mm-hmm. So um, collaborating with the Putnam Chamber mm-hmm. and West Virginia Tourism mm-hmm. and Putnam CVB, mm-hmm. um, we really rely on all of our community partners to help us spread the word and, and see those results. So um, we have seen visitors from all 50 sta- states mm-hmm. from Grits Fun Farm before. So um, it's really exciting to see that growth. Absolutely. It's so it's if you guys haven't been to the fun farm, it's something you really need to check out this fall. Um, it is just a phenomenal experience and something fun. And um, you can do like memberships for it, too. So you can get right. Is that can you, uh, we yeah. offer season passes. season passes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's even something fun. You can take your kids out for, you know, a couple hours every every weekend or you can go once, you know, however, but a really cool opportunity. If somebody what what it, guidance would you give somebody who is kind of starting to implement some of the newer um, social media trends Um, as far as like you guys are very active on most platforms but what what kind of tips would you give somebody who is hesitant about using some of the different platforms you know everybody Facebook is you know kind of the old school you know initial like or the OG I guess of the social media world but um, what kind of advice would you give somebody that wants to maybe enter into some different platforms? Sure. So my number one piece of advice would be to tell your story authentically, no Mm -hmm. matter what platform you choose to use. Mm -hmm. Um, As you said, Facebook is a little bit different. It's Mm -hmm. a little bit older than the other platforms, but for us, it's still a very great tool that we use. Um, We find that photos perform better on Mm -hmm. Facebook and of course on Instagram and TikTok, that's where video is really king. And Mm -hmm. that's the content that um, the platforms want to see going Mm -hmm. up. And um, when I say to tell your story authentically, I really mean just taking the time to showcase all aspects of your business and not just the typical bright and shiny, Mm -hmm. day-to-day, picturesque, scenic photos that um, we might be used to, but telling the stories of your team members and your Mm -hmm. employees and what you guys are doing actually on the Mm day-to-day behind the scenes and putting the work that goes into it, Mm -hmm. um, showcasing that a little bit and the bloopers and the funny moments <laughs> yeah. because um, people connect with that and they see that as you're not just another business out to mm-hmm. sell um, a product. Mm-hmm. You are showing us what um, it means to be a local family business mm-hmm. in uh, the agriculture and agritourism industry and what it takes to um, really execute that mm-hmm. to its to its fullest potential. So we found that um, telling the story authentically, no matter what platform you're on, really, really helps and people connect with that, but also being consistent with mm-hmm. it. And, and that's a really big part of social media is the level of consistency. Mm-hmm. So um, this winter we have really focused on trying to post, if not daily, um, every other day or almost every Mm -hmm. day, just in order to keep up with the algorithms and make sure that they are putting our content, um, first and foremost, Mm -hmm. based on how much we post and put out there. And we have seen, um, positive results from that so far. So, um, no matter what platform it is, you don't have to be the best at it. You Mm -hmm. can, um, record those little bits and pieces of your team, um, whether you're just in the office or something funny, um, there's there's something every day that you can find inspiration yeah. in, and it doesn't have to be necessarily what um, people think it needs to be on social media. Yeah, absolutely. Bright and shiny. Absolutely. And I think, you know, a lot of our businesses here can relate to that. They are family owned and operated, started here. And I think that is something that our businesses can relate to as far as, you know, just it can be overwhelming. It can be intimidating on how to, you know, what information to put out there. You think you have to have some specific, you know, mission in mind, but really people just want to know who, you know, who works there. If they know somebody, people love to see, you know, somebody that may not be like the owner or, or even the dogs, the dogs on the farm. People love to see the dogs, you know, they love to see their friends, their family. Um, and you know, behind the scenes type stuff. So that's really good advice. And I think um, if, you know, if you guys are at all uh, interested in learning more about that, we also have some chamber members that we can help, you know, point you to that can guide you to, um, to creating those digital marketing plans. What do you love most about, you know, um, being in Putnam County? 
So Putnam County is great because it's so diverse. Um, the, the land is diverse. So I live in Taze Valley mm-hmm. and it very much feels like a small city and mm-hmm. you have the best local restaurants super close to you. And then I drive 25 minutes to work and I work on a farm and <laughs> it's a complete different um, <laughs> whole other world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, you really do feel like you get the best of both worlds mm-hmm. here. Um, you're so close to um, everything, but you can also be out on the farm and Mm -hmm. just enjoy um, the outdoors in its full capacity. Mm -hmm. And um, for those that, you know, I I came from working in uh, an office with no windows really in anything. Um, So it's it's just a great change of scenery, but also the people too. Mm -hmm. And when guests come to Grits Farm specifically, we notice that, they are in no rush to be anywhere else mm-hmm. uh, because it's kind of that escape for yeah. them. And it's so peaceful and beautiful and people are just happy to be there yeah. and generally in a good mood, which is just a great change of pace because we live in a world where we're so focused on mm-hmm. the next thing and the day to day and that sometimes we forget to stop mm-hmm. and enjoy the moment. So um, Grits Farm is is really the perfect place to stop and enjoy the moment. And that's, to me, the best thing about working in Putnam yeah. County. It's so awesome up there. And you're right. And that if, like I said, guys, I've said it again, if you haven't been up to Grits Farm, you need to check it out. It is our, you know, just favorite place in Putnam County. Favorite place to be. If somebody wanted to learn more about not only the fun farm, but other activities that you guys have going on throughout the year, and if they want to, you know, put it in their countdown for when the a couple years from now when the trees are ready. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know I have a countdown going because Christmas and uh, the holiday season is my favorite time of the year. And so um, I eagerly am awaiting the the Christmas and holiday activities that are going to go on up there. But if people want to learn more about Grits Farm, um, where can they find you? So I always recommend following us on social media first because we do post pretty much daily at Grits Farm on all platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So be sure to give us a follow, but you can also find more of our ticketing information and more about who we are Mm -hmm. as a business, of course, by visiting gritsfarm.com. Awesome. Thanks, Alexandra, for joining us on Inside Putnam. Thank you all for listening, and thanks to our partners at CBI. See you next time. Thank you.